got the whole world in your hands. You got Hello again, this is Barat from Palmer's Jam Plug. And now we're going to continue with the fingerprints and uh, we get to the world fingerprint. Uh, as you can see in the, in the diagram, that's what it looks like. It looks like a little circle. Uh, and now, according to uh, evolution, uh, the worlds are the most advanced. Uh, so they speak about advanced development. It means, if you believe in past lives, that um, in some other life, the, the person worked on certain skill. Let's say, for example, if it's in the Jupiter figure, they worked on their social skills. They did a Dale Carnegie, uh, how to win friends, influence people type of thing. And now it comes back to them in this life as, as almost a gift from God. So um, that's what worlds are about. You know, this expression that they say you can't take it with you, that's actually not my, my experience. My experience, you bring everything into this world. You bring your, your merit karma, your, your demerit karma, uh, your tendencies, your, your talents and your blocks. It, it all, it all comes in. If you had, like, developed something in another life, it, it somehow comes to you in this life. It's my experience as what I see as a promise. Um, so this is what the worlds are about. They're showing that there's been some sort of development. Uh, that, that has gone on. And so using the, um, the Jupiter finger as, um, as an example, so it means the person comes in, they've done something on a social level in their life. So in this life, um, what will happen is that people will just naturally like them. And also, they also normally have a very good ability to contact people. Usually they can come up and speak to you like you're a stranger with but no fear. And the person feels doesn't feel any fear, doesn't feel threatened with the person. So they have this very good ability to easily contact people. And also if they just sit there and look pretty, people just warm up to them. So that's what they have. And this is something that never goes away. They cannot uh, abuse it or use it or delete it or, you know, or... Um, they can do anything they want with it. They can use it to manipulate people. They can use it to business to get people to be their customers, whatever. You know, it will, it will always be for this. And this, I would say, uh, if I ask a person if they have this, it's usually like 99.9% uh, that they'll say yes. It's very once in a while, I think one or two people in 30 years said, oh, I don't really feel that. But the thing is, if you speak to them, they realize that actually they, they do have it. So it is, it is basically 100%. So now, uh, so there can be like one world in the finger, for example, which is actually very, very auspicious. One or two worlds in the finger is in fact the most favorable. Or you can have up to 10 worlds in the hand. I see that often enough that somebody has 10 worlds, everything has a world fingerprint in the hand. And when we're talking later, uh, probably in the next video, we'll be about the person who does have uh, five or more worlds in their hand because that gives a person a certain personality. It's associated with a certain personality type. But meanwhile, we're just talking about the worlds. This little circle. Now, so that's on Jupiter. Now, if you get uh, at the sun finger, now the sun finger is also very important. If you see somebody that just has one or two worlds and they're on the sun finger, this is very auspicious. These are called the lucky worlds. Now, somebody that has the lucky worlds is exactly that. They're lucky. Uh, it doesn't mean that they don't have adversity in their life. They can have adversity in their life. But what it means is in the end, they're going to land on their feet. And they're going to become a better person or whatever, you know. But um, their luck is always with them. And it's also a very special message from existence, God or whatever it is you want to believe in or you do believe in, uh, that they should see everything in their life as luck. So if they get into a car accident, it's their luck. Hard to believe, right? But uh, because in the end, it's going to, um, it's going to make them a better person in some way. So if they accept that the, if they break up with their boyfriend, then it's their luck. If they stay with their boyfriend, it's their luck. It's about seeing everything in your life as luck. And usually these people are lucky. Now I, many readings with, with people that have just the two lucky worlds in their hand on both sun fingers and you know the rest of their hand it was you know 
not much to say about, nothing special at all. But these people get everything and have everything. And it's like amazing, you know. So if you have those lucky worlds in your hand, which I don't, unfortunately, uh, you know, this is, this is really cool. Um, you know, two is better than one, but, and, and so of course, but, um, that is the most auspicious, the lucky world. And it means that they are born under the, the skies of luck, you know, no matter what's happening. So I had one situation once in Thailand. I gave a reading to a girl who had been in a car accident and she went through several operations and um, she was, you know, it was pretty tough. And I looked at her hand and then she had the lucky worlds. And I was really hard pressed. Okay, where the hell, where is the luck now? You know, where is it here? You know, so um, I didn't really see it until the next year. She brought her mother there. And I had a reading with her mother. And her mother had a completely full heart line, which means it's like the Mother Teresa. Well, you should know, actually. The Mother Teresa heart line. Oh, not yet. We haven't discussed that yet. Um, uh, so, um, so it's the Mother Teresa's hotline, which means she was taking care of her daughter without one speck of resentment. And like, I'm going, okay, here's the luck. And also, then I started to look at this woman who was just, um, not that there's anything wrong with being a secretary, but she was just the, the secretary type, you know, just the normal, uh, you know, get married or whatever, you know, have family type of thing. And this this accident pushed her to find out more who she really was and pushed her into a spiritual, gave her, uh, pushed her into finding a spiritual viewpoint and seeing the world in a much greater, with much greater perspective. So then I'm going, okay, here it is, you know, even though it was, that was a hard one to see. And uh, I guess she needed such a drastic one, but... Um, so I do have also once in a while people that don't, that say they're not lucky. You know, they you know, you can see the glass half full, uh, half empty, and, um, uh, they're definitely seeing it half empty, and they just say, well, I'm not really lucky. So then I'm spending a lot of time with them to show, you know, hey, come on, you get to change your viewpoint. You just have to start seeing yourself as lucky because you have the lucky worlds, and it's never wrong. You know, so and then trying to get them to sort of change from seeing it from half empty to half full. Um, people sometimes it's successful and sometimes it's not. Okay, so that's the lucky worlds. You know, okay, now if you have those worlds on your thumb, that's also a very, very good auspicious sign. It's also like a gift from God. So it means because the thumb is about action, about doing, about manifesting. So the person who is, who has a, who has a world on uh, their thumb, they have done some business. They were captains of industry or whatever, you know, in, in some other life. And now it comes back to them in this life as a gift, almost as a gift to God, where they receive help for what they do. So let's say they have a certain capacity to do things. Whatever that capacity is, there is a, like an addition, like a little uh, push from existence to help them along. Uh, and these people, they always get comments of people, oh, you do things so effortlessly. And, and usually these people, they'll say, yeah, things happen easily for me. Uh, and also, for example, if they need help, let's say they need $50,000 to to uh, to renovate their business or to get, you know, upgrade their computer system and their business or something. Um, um, this will happen. The 50000 will come. You know, so they'll always have this help there, this push. So uh, what, what's left? Now we have it on Mercury Finger. Uh, the Mercury Finger... When people have the world on the Mercury thing, well, yeah, they, there could be some good communication because Mercury deals with communication. But mostly the Mercury, it, it, the world on the Mercury thing that denotes um, gifts, getting gifts. And the, if this is not like 100% as the other ones are, but, um, but it's close, you know, and not always the person says, I have gifts. But what happens, you know, it can be trust funds, there can be inheritances, lottery winning. And also what they'll do is they'll get the juicy job that everybody wants, you know, like the, the UN appointment. They'll be the ones that get it. 
you know. Or an, another possibility is they inherit talents from their parents, like the father was an incredible pianist, and they'll inherit that musical ability. You know. So this is the thing about the, the, the Merkley fingers. Okay, now the last one is the satin finger, which <laughs> hard to kind of just stick that out. Uh, and the satin finger would give a person very, very good abilities to organize, very good abilities to be disciplined, uh, very good abilities to do long-term projects and things like that. And they, these people, surprisingly enough, when I first read that they uh, could do research, um, they, they really love to do research, uh, I was like, what, really? Uh, but every time, they love to do research. So if they're interested in a subject, they're going to go to Google or the libraries, and they're going to look up that subject and find out about it. So that's the worlds in every finger, which, you know, they're good to have. Uh, so this is, I'm going to end here. We're going to come back and discuss when there are five or more worlds in the hand and what that represents, because uh, there is a, a particular personality type associated with those worlds. So this is Barat from Promisory Unplugged. Um, and my, uh, you can download my book, help, which actually would help, the, uh, help uh, follow along. I just actually finished the third edition, uh, which will be coming out soon. Uh, and if you have questions or you would like to have a reading with me, I'm also doing Vedic Astrology and Tarot. I was reading to real the actually before palmistry. So if you're uh, interested in that, it's always available. Uh, in any case, you'll see me soon again when we talk about uh, the world personality. Okay, so I'm signing off. This is Barat from Palmistry of Plug, and take care. See you later. Bye. Got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole